Hey what's up everyone hi this is Harshad Menon from Health and Muscles if you're new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel because i come up with awesome content every wednesdays uh, a quick recap on our previous video in the last video we saw that our body uses carbs as energy by converting it into its monosaccharide unit that's glucose the extra glucose is stored as glycogen which can be used later as per our own convenience in our uh, muscles and liver now the excess after this is stored as fats in the adipose cells monosaccharide unit that's single sugar unit and disaccharide unit that's two sugar unit are called as simple sugars the reason being because it's very easy to break down into glucose for energy and anything about two sugar unit takes longer time depending on the number of sugar unit present hence they are called as complex carbs now we will be talking about proteins on the other side so stay tuned proteins gives you four calories now they are very important macronutrient and we have studied in our school that proteins are the building blocks of our body now proteins are made up of amino acids and they are responsible for almost every other process in the body uh, almost all the hormones like insulin growth hormone igf1 and many other hormones in the body is made up of proteins of course i'll be touching upon all this uh, hormones but in a separate video Now the enzymes the transporter the iron exchange channel you name anything in the body it is made up of proteins there are a total of 20 different amino acids uh, two more amino acids have been recently discovered so let's consider them as uh, 22 amino acids so out of which nine amino acids are essential as our body cannot produce them on its own and we need to get it via our diet uh all the other amino acid can be produced using the nine essential amino acids now other than these nine essential amino acids there are these seven amino acids which our body can produce on its own but on certain occasions like illness injury surgery or if you're getting a big wound then their demand increases hence they are called as ceaa that's conditional essential amino acids Now the protein from the animal sources contains all the nine essential amino acid and it has a better amino acid profile as compared to its vegetarian sources hence they called as high quality protein but yes of course vegetarians can also get this high quality protein but what they need to do is they need to mix and match to get a complete amino acid profile uh, the best example would be rice and beans put together also they can include whole grains soy and tofu quinoa etc so what are the uses of proteins in our body the first use would be it is responsible for the repair growth and recovery in our body hence it is called as the building block of our body the second one is protein helps to maintain the ph of our body protein helps in forming antibodies that fight infection proteins like lipoprotein glucose transporters they help in transportation of nutrients while protein also helps to maintain the fluid balance within the cell and outside the cell now this is done with the help of uh, albumin and globulin protein uh the fifth one would be uh, now enzymes are protein catalyst which is responsible for many reactions including the digestion in our body sixth is some of the hormones are made of proteins like growth hormone your insulin glucagon igf tsh and many more collagen in bones and ligaments nail hair are made up of protein uh, so basically protein plays a very vital role in our body for almost everything that happens in our body right from building repairing and maintaining this is the primary functions of protein once all of this is done and if protein is in excess even then it steps up to produce energy or gets converted into fats but of course this is not very easy task for our body to produce energy from proteins 
as it's very less efficient and hence our body prefers carbs that's glucose or fats for its energy production now out of the nine essential amino acids that we had a word upon leucine isoleucine and valine together is called as bcaa branch chain amino acids proteins are called as the building block of our body and it helps to create new tissues and maintain it as well this anabolic effect that's mps muscle protein synthesis is mediated by bcaa especially leucine and then it is followed up by isoleucine and released by valine bcaa stimulates a protein mtor which signals the cell growth or muscle growth to make it simple yes it is very important to get leucine isoleucine and valine but uh, what's more important is to sustain the mps muscle protein synthesis and to do it it requires the presence of all the amino acids without which supplementing of bcaa is very futile so please do not waste your money on bcaa's if your protein sources gives you enough amount of leucine you are getting other essential amino acids as well and you can sustain your mp so rather focus on your protein source that's better so focus on protein sources which will give you a complete amino acid profile a better protein that's about protein for now and in the next video we will be talking on a very important topic that's water and yes if you like the video please do hit the like button and while you're at it do subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification also please do share it with your friends